Hey banter fans, welcome to Bathroom Banter. Andrea Helander here, here on my Bathroom Banter. I'm a little bit early tonight from my nine o'clock slot, which I've been trying to make because it seems like everybody's kind of in a good spot at nine o'clock, but I'm a little early. So hopefully somebody is on live with me. Let me know you're on live. I always love to have a live audience, but if you're not on live with me, you can always catch me on the replay. Um, so I can't see who that is. Uh, I can't see who's joining because, oh, Jen, hey, Jen. Um, okay, so down to business. Beauty on the inside, beauty on the outside, as always. So you guys, know, oh, you know what? Actually, first I wanna to talk to you about this, blueberries. Is anybody obsessed with blueberries the way I am in the summertime? I cannot get enough blueberries. I have been putting them in my shakes, I've been eating them raw, I eat them by the handful, I put them in a bag and take them in the car with me. I'm eating blueberries. I'm gonna, I think that pretty soon I'm gonna look like Baruca Salt. Is it Baruca? Is Baruca the one that eats like too much blueberry something at Willy Wonka's factory and blows up into like a blueberry? Is that who it is? I think it's Baruca Salt. Now I'm thinking the Baruca Salt is the one that says, I want a golden goose egg and I want it now. I think that's her. I can't remember who the chick is that blows up like a purple blueberry. But anyway, I'm all about the blueberries in the summertime. So if my skin starts looking a little funny here on my bathroom banter, you're going to know that I have eaten one too many pints of blueberries. <laughs> okay, so maybe that's my beauty on the outside today. All right, beauty on the inside. Who's on here with me? I can't see anything. Shannon's on me. Hey, Shannon. Um, good to see you. Thanks for joining me. Um, okay, so a lot of you guys know that I was, uh, I was at a, my mastermind, um, one of my mastermind retreats with Bob Heilig and my mastermind, my legacy mastermind class. This past four days or five days, I was down in Nashville last week. And so I came back with a low battery. I came, I came back with um, a whole many, many tidbits of, of juicy things that I can't wait to share with you guys. So um, my beauty on the inside today, beauty on the inside today is um, I have this fabulous quote from uh, Viktor Frankl from uh, the Man's Search for Meaning, the book Man's Search for Meaning. Between stimulus and response, there is a space. In that space is our power to choose response. I'm sorry, in our response lies our growth and freedom. I got to read that again. Between stimulus and response, there is a space. In that space is our power to choose our response. In our response lies our growth and our freedom. Okay, that is like, I've actually talked about this a little bit. I've talked about the space between actually your breath. When you inhale and you exhale, there's that space, that space of opportunity that's in between. So this kind of builds off of that, off of that idea. But what I really, really, really love about that quote is that it says, uh, in that space is our power to choose our response. In that response lies our growth and freedom. Okay, that is like so incredibly powerful. In that space lies our, in, in our response lies our growth and freedom. So that started to resonate with me so, so, so deeply because one of the things, one of the things that I have noticed about myself the most, and I noticed it while I was away and, and, and I want you, I'm really inviting you to think about this because this can be, this can be life changing. I realized that, that I respond differently than I used to. And because of it, my life is a much, much, much better place. And it is so easy to react. Something else I've spoken about, you know, when you, when you react to something, you let someone else steal your power, right? When you just, when you just react, you let, you're giving that person that you're reacting to or that situation that you're reacting to all your power. But if you can practice, if you can exercise that muscle to the, to, to the muscle between the stimuli and the response, right? Think about the power that you have in what happens next. That is so incredibly powerful. It's, it's so, it's powerful. It's powerful in love. It's powerful in work. It's powerful in war. It's powerful with your children. It's powerful in traffic. Think about that. And when you, when you have exercised that muscle so well, that you were really making good decisions, you're processing, you're actually processing 
before you respond and you're choosing what your response is or maybe you're choosing not to respond at all, right? Think about how much freedom that then gives you. Think about how much freedom is stolen from you or you is given away when we respond without taking that time in between the stimuli. When we just respond without flexing that muscle in between the stimuli and the response. Think about all the freedom that's lost because you said something that you wish you hadn't said because you did something you wish you hadn't done. Think about how powerful that is. Between stimulus and response, there is a space. In that space is our power to choose our response. In, that, in our response lies our growth and freedom. That is, that is such a powerful, 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 powerful thought. So my beauty on the inside tonight is Think about the growth that's possible when you exercise that muscle between, between stimuli and response. Think about the growth that is possible. And with growth like that, think about the freedom that you will gain, the freedom that you will gain in making great choices about how you respond. That is just, that's incredible. So what I've learned about myself is that, um, and I keep talking about all these crazy things that are happening, and there are a lot of a lot of crazy things that are happening. So I'm starting to do some um, some intuitive mentoring, some private intuitive mentoring, and um, I realize that when I you know when I speak with people one on one, I really 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 flex that muscle. And what you what you what happens when you do that with another person, right? This might make me a little teary. Um, when you can flex that muscle between the stimuli and your response, you are really, 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 really able to honor, to listen, to process, and honor the other person's boundaries, right? You can really choose. You can think about, you can think about them, and you can think about the result that is going to happen, and you can really say, you know what? I'm going to back off. I'm going to back off here. I'm going to honor that person's boundaries. Or you can say to yourself, you know what? I'm going to actually press forward a little bit because maybe it's going to be best for this situation. Maybe it's going to draw this person out. Maybe it's going to help heal a wound. You know, sometimes it's best to press a little forward. But, but either way, you have exercised that muscle, made a choice, and can affect everything you do. Beauty on the inside today. That's my, it's, and I think that's big today. Really, really, really big. Okay, beauty on the outside. Um, as some of you may know, when you've tuned in, you've heard that I have a, a lovely, incredibly brilliant, beautiful uh, new business partner in Australia, in Perth, Australia. Her name is Tammy Ewing, and she is um, gorgeous, beauty, beautiful on the inside, beautiful, beautiful on the outside, and brilliantly smart as well. Uh, but she owns a nail business. She has also done all kinds of other great things, but she also owns kind of a hoity-toity um, nail art studio in Perth. And so I was complaining that my nails just won't grow to her one day. And she gave me some great tips. She said that the reason they flake is because they're dry. And I always thought it was something else. And they peel and they flake because they're dry. And she also said that I needed to be careful about how I was filing them. So this is this was like both of these things were revelational for me. So the two tips for beauty on the outside today are when you're filing your nails, you're only supposed to file from the corner to the center, corner to the center corner to the center, corner to the center, instead of back and forth like this. Who knew? I, who knew? I, I file back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and thought I was being such, such a meticulous and good filer, <laughs> but truthfully, I was hurting my nails. So when you file, file from the corner to the center, file from the corner to the center, and make sure that you're not using a nail file that is too, that the grit is too, um, too uh, gritty. <laughs> I don't know what the right word is, thick, that's not right. Uh, coarse, coarse. <laughs> when, you're, when you're filing, you make sure that the file you're using isn't too coarse for your nails, because sometimes it's easy to like pick up a nail in the in the you know Harmons or the beauty place that um, is for acrylic nails or for nails that have you know wraps on them or nails that have that that what's that stuff that everybody has gels, you know, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Those are like a coarser, coarser grip. So um, corner to the center. Make sure the file isn't too uh, too coarse. 
And the other thing is, is to, is to really keep your nails hydrated. If you, if you hydrate your hands, obviously that's going to help. And you hydrate the beds right around the, um, the cuticle every single day, that's going to help your nails uh, maintain moisture. So this stuff is awesome. It's a CND uh, solar nail oil, solar nail oil. This is just a little tiny baby one. This is what the big one looks like, but this one's like beat to shit. So I, I thought I'd show you this one's a little prettier. Um, okay, so that's beauty on the outside. If you've got troublesome nails, troubled nails like me, it's likely because they're too dry and you're not filing them right. So file from the corner to the center never back and forth, corner to the center. Make sure your nail beds are nice and moisturized. You know, my, you guys all know my favorite hand lotion. I wasn't gonna show this again, but it's that Clarence, backwards Clarence. Uh, Clarence uh, hand and nail treatment cream, the best stuff there is. And then um, couple that with this CN, CND, CND um, solar oil. Good stuff, ba baby, big one. Beauty on the inside, beauty on the outside. From the bathroom banter queen. Um, the last thing I just wanted to share with you is be on the lookout on my page because I am going to share a, um, a review actually that uh, a gal that I worked with over the weekend um, put on my um, put on my business page on my fan page, and I'm um, really proud to share it. But most important, I really um, am excited to uh, thank her, and that's Pam Barefoot. Amazing, awesome awesome last name because I mean I personally would love to be barefoot all the time either in high heels or barefoot because nobody needs anything in between as far as I'm concerned so uh, Pam barefoot she is a, a pharmacist and a um, health and wellness coach and she and I I had the honor and the pleasure of getting to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with Pam this weekend and I really just wanted to put it out there that um, you can find her via me if you're looking for somebody. I, I'm really excited for Pam because what, who better to coach you in health and wellness than a pharmacist? Because she gets to see all the bad stuff from people not taking good care of themselves, right? So, you know, she's, she's the one behind the, the desk, behind the counter all the time that's filling all those prescriptions. I call them the, you know, the love letters from your doctor to the pharmacist, um, you know, feeding into the pharmaceutical industry and certainly, you know, there seems to always be a cost. You take a medicine to heal one thing, but there's always a cost for taking it. So Pam, I just wanted to say out loud, thank you so much for, um, for inviting me into your journey and spending some time with me. It really uh, meant a great deal to me. And I'm shouting out to Pam Barefoot. If anybody needs somebody who is compassionate and smart and knowledgeable and kind, She's got a great Southern accent. She's got a ton of energy. She's really, really terrific. If you need a health and wellness coach, somebody to work with, you can work with Pam once. You can work with her ongoing. She can help you with diet. She can help you with exercise. She can help you with all kinds of things. And um, I am so grateful to have you know been able to spend that time with her in this kind of intuitive mentorship role. And uh, I just wanted to shout her out. So you guys, she's out there, Pam Barefoot. If you're looking for somebody and you and you you know that can help you with your health health and awareness reach out to me and I will connect you here on Facebook. Um, and I think, I think that's all I've got for you guys tonight. Blueberries, uh, the space between stimulus and, and um, response, and uh, healthy nails. That's all I've got from the Bathroom Banter Queen. Thank you so much for joining me as always. You guys know that you make my day a better place. I hope that I can make your day a little play, a little better. I am always so grateful that you spend a little time with me every single day. It is It means more to me than, than I can even express with words. Uh, if you enjoy my videos, if you get value out of these bathroom banter videos, please share them. Share, 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 share. Our community is growing every single day. Um, and it's so exciting to watch connecting like-minded people and um, it's there's a lot of exciting things coming in the future um, and, and I'm so happy to share them so if you're finding value and enjoying my videos please 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 share them it really is a great help to connect me with with more people a bigger audience have a beautiful night be beautiful and don't forget beauty isn't just skin deep now I'm gonna try a little experiment because I bought this little button but I'm probably you know me in technology so I got this Bluetooth thing so I'm gonna say goodbye and I'll see you guys on the next episode and if it doesn't turn off then I'm gonna lean is lean in as always so don't forget to be beautiful out there guys ciao nope <laughs> okay one one more that's just one more technological win for the bathroom banter queen I'll see you guys probably tomorrow <laughs> bye bye